I'm very excited. We just took a two hour drive, trailering our big boat, which we're on right now. We're at Key Largo, Pentacamp Park. Florida Keys. Florida Keys. Yeah, yes, Key we're Largo excited. is the first key of the Florida Keys. We have never done this before in our entire lives. Yeah, we're on a little bit of an adventure and we're gonna try and catch some bottom fish and catch some bait first. And we've been down here about a year ago on somebody else's boat, but we're super excited to take you guys along. Yes. And uh, find our own spots and uh, catch a ton of fish. That's exactly the game plan today, taking you along with us in the beautiful Florida Keys. And um, let's get the day started, it's just yeah. gorgeous. Check it out guys, we're using our ballyhoo, looking for ballyhoo, but we're also catching fresh speedos. This is like the best mutton snapper bait, oh my gosh. Brian is killing it over here with the ballyhoo, and this is the most fish he just caught. Valley hoop, sorry, that's what it's called. Yes. We just got four. We already got six in there now. And let's go ahead and let this file fish go. Pretty. Let go of the net. So first thing we did was uh, we anchored we up in about, the net. we're in 58 feet. Uh, we saw some other, we're just looking for some bait spots because we did, we did this in Monty Mutton Man. We saw some guys anchored here catching bait. So you we kind of just copied them. And uh, we're using the valley hoop. If you guys don't know about this thing, this is how you catch Look all the valley hoop and uh, what are the things called again? Very Speedos. Tasty. Speed it. Speedos. Okay, we, there's not much current right now. So it's if when there's a ton of current, you can catch a million fish at once, but there's not much current right now, but we're still doing pretty well with it. Nice, got a bunch of ballyhoo. That's what we want. You don't want to touch ballyhoo because they will die. Trying not to, but it's not doing very good. I'm killing, I'm killing it with the ballyhoo guys. I don't even know why Darcy's fishing anymore. I think we're probably done. I don't know. Let's get another dozen. They're freaking <laughs> chewing good, man. It's also mahi season coming up. We get fresh ballyhoo. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Nice. Get another two do two more pools like that. Two, oh, come on. And you have to go fishing. We're good. I'm going to try now. Yeah, you get one at a time. I want to try. I want to try. Oh, come on. You're not right. like me. No, you go ahead. You're the bait master. No, you go okay. ahead. You go, go ahead. Don't mess up the system. Just That's go. true. You're right. Go. Yeah, guys, again, but this works better when there's, when there's current. Um, we're having good luck today, but I mean, you can get a hundred value at one time with this thing. We've been out here with no current and like you struggle can't catch to them. catch them. And of course, you gotta go some, like I always tell you, you gotta go where the fish are. And uh, you know, back home in Boynton, there's not what? a ton of fish. Nice speedo on the ballyhoo rig. Nice speedo. So I'm just letting it out there and then I jiggle this. Ah! On the floor. And it brings them closer to the boat. Come on, Sizzle. Maybe I got fish on the floor. Got it. Sorry. Apologize. And then I pull it in. And I feel like I got a bunch again. Yeah, you did. I'm you letting it drop back, it back really far. I'm trying to catch some of these speedos now. They can't get out either once they're in. Now once they're in there, don't worry about it. Don't go, you don't gotta go fast. I go to six? How many? I don't even know. Four or five? Four or five. It's okay. It's fine. All right, let's see how Darcy does. The master baiter. She's mad at me catching all the bait. Jiggle well, it again. No, I usually am the I'm the one that catches bait. I'm usually like the one that throws the cast net and stuff. Brian's killing it over here. Oh, you got so you got a bunch. Nice job. No, you still beat me. No, yeah, we got a ton that time. That was more than we've gotten in the last 15 minutes. Pull, fast pull, fast pull. You didn't even count how many you got. You're so excited. We did get sizzle. This time we get sizzle. No, it's time to go. We gotta get the actual fish to eat. You think this is bad luck catching too much bait? <laughs> yes, it's bad. No, I listen. sound like Kevin Rowley. You can never have enough bait. This is. Bait. I'm gonna tell you guys. This is a. Yes, it is because they start jumping out of the boat. They, they hit me in the ankle. All right, I swear I'm done. Watch this pool. I'm gonna get more than five. <laughs> now let me tell you guys. I'm always in a competition with myself. I gotta outbeat it. Looks like you're in a competition with me right now. <laughs> If you notice, we put a, a bottle on top to hold it up with a rubber band. Now, this is a microcosm of our entire relationship. I always yell, I yell at Darcy constantly. You do. But taking too much time to do things that don't need to get done and taking away from other productive things to do, other money-making activities. She, she does things 100% when 80% would probably be fine. You got some? Three. And you know, all right, we're getting, well, now we're leaving. And you do the 80%, it's just productivity one on one. If you do three, three, good. Open it, baby. Oh, sorry. If you, you know, if you do a job 80 percent well, you get ninety eight percent of the results. And that's but Darcy spends another two hours 
doing the other 80 percent and gets very little additional results. Hey, yeah, I need help. Please. No, you got it. Please I thought you were so good at this. Please help me. All right, Can we're gonna go fishing it? now. Can you shake? Oh my god, just watch that fish double over. What do you want it? Right here? Right here? Right here? Good? Yes. Good Yes. Was it? Yeah. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I got it, I got it. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Get him in the fing boat. We'll let the sharks eat him. Can't believe it. What the hell? And we were just talking about Justin, our buddy Justin, that we fish with all the time. And I was like, wait a second, I think that gripper rod is getting a bite. And Brian was getting rigged up. And I'm like, watch that rod, watch that rod. Brian saw it jump, actually dive down on that rod, which is our Wahoo setup. And he had to immediately crank on a gripper. Look at that beautiful black. Oh my God. That is the sickest thing ever. Dude. So worth it coming down here. First fight of the day, Black Grouper. Ryan Gaffed, I just leave that beautiful fish up. Look at this fish, guys. You Hold on, the boat coming by. Stoked. Boat coming by. Divers. What a divers coming by. That's a 24 all day. Oh, yeah, at least. 24 to keep. Look at that circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. Came up and ate that freaking live, that dead speedo we caught Hold this morning. Way. Yeah, hold him the other way around. Pretty incredible. He's all wrapped up. All right, all right. Let's just get the hook All right, out. one second. Wait for this dive boat to go by so I don't see our fish. Beautiful. Get over there in the sun a little more. Dive. Look at that. That is just amazing. Look at that classic bloom broom tail with the white tips. So sick. This fish is absolutely delicious. I mean, I've only had it one other time, but look at those gorgeous dots on them. Just a beautiful specimen right there. This is just like, this whole entire trip down here, this has already been paid off just with this one fish. I mean, yeah. Brian just caught it and that's his first ever black grouper. Guys, I mean, I can't tell, I can't tell you like how, I'm like, I'm, I'm ready to go home. I mean, I, look, look, I, I really, we can't talk still. like I've had a successful trip already. Yes. Um, I'll tell you what I caught it on in two seconds, but um, you know, we've been wanting to come down here for a year. Cause we knew the fishing was good and yeah. you know, we've been talking about it and we got yeah. everything ready and we got the, the anchor line ready and. Come fix the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. And all that great stuff, and uh, you know, and kisses. you just don't catch. <laughs> oh, it's a hot chick kisses. But you, you know, I know we're getting a little excited. A lot of time, a lot of you guys catch grouper all the freaking time, but here in Boynton, you just really don't. And Stuart, you catch, you know, some. But just to come down here on our own boat, you know, we we'll see help help us see more maps, finding different spots, and some guidance from Mammy Mutton Man. Yes. I want to uh, thank Miami Mutt Man for just giving us a general idea of where to come out here today. Yeah. And uh, it works, so thank you, Captain. Yeah, we're on one, you know, we're at, Key, we're at Penta Camp, we're on 127. You know, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm not going to tell you the it's GPS, a, but whatever. It doesn't mean anything. No, I know, but no, there's a ledge out here. You no, go into the ledge and you try to have a spot. Yeah, too, by the way, yeah. guys. That's all. All right, let's get all him in a box. Right. We got it. We got to start fishing again, man. Yeah. Let's get that group around. Yeah, you got to catch up. You got to catch up. Nice. Let's go. Crank him. Crank him! No! Yo, come on! Baby! It's a grouper! Get him up! Can't stop, can't stop. It's a battle, it's a battle. Where's the damn gloves? Get the gloves in my bag! Hand bag! Okay. Okay. Can't stop! Ryan, right. I'll try. Oh my god! This is getting me on the boat! I don't need a gap. You guys right behind. Come on, come on. You got him we'll come now. Can't stop. This is it. This is the, the whole thing. Sharks. You got him, baby. Oh my 
my god. I have to weigh that fish right now. Dude! Dude! That's a fucking monster! Dude! That is a monster! <laughs> Dude, that is a locker! Bro, I thought that was a grouper! He hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. I gotta hold that thing up. He yanked me so hard. Is that the biggest mud you ever caught? Ever, 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 ever. That's all day of 15, maybe 17 pound mud. That is a trophy mutton of a pick lifetime up, up. right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the freaking bell. <laughs> hold them up, hold them up. Guys, I just whooped that snapper's butt. Hold them, hold them vertical. Hold them vertical. Look how he's Stand wet back. as me. He's wet as my belly. <laughs> Darcy's arm is totally bent, like it's not straight. No. Look at this fish, guys. I'll take this all day over your group. I'm ready right to now. go home. Oh my god! Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. I watched him just double that over. Ate that live ballyhoo on the bottom. Do you have Incredible a scale? Incredible fish, I do. Oh my god. Incredible fish. This is a trophy fish. This is what people come down here to the Florida Keys for. That's a That's fish. That's what you, you want to catch. And I just did that on my own boat, on my own combo. We're using a Miami mutton rod gaff. Miami Mutton Man Rod. Miami Mutton Man Rod and Gaff. Miami <laughs> Mutton Man Rod and Gaff today. So that's what you know. Just all this time and effort we put on the water. Truly incredible. Let's weigh this fish. Y'all say he's 16. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Wow, wow, wow. So beautiful. I mean, we already topped it off with that beautiful grouper, but now my biggest personal best mutton snapper and Brian's personal best grouper. I mean, I don't know how much more we're going to get today. We can just go home. This is amazing. No, we got to drop again. <laughs> this is our first spot. Hold on, I just watched the cougar off. We got somewhere that's parked on our anchor line. And my line went off at that time. Oh my God, wait till you see what's in this freaker's mouth. So this is a normal eight pound mutton just whipped his butt. Sorry, we didn't have the audio on there. Got all these cameras yeah, going. Just we, we hadn't caught a fish in a while. We had some tangles from a kingfish, and yeah, we we're talking about mo moving actually. Yes. And then uh, come on, pick I just it messed up. up, but I got the footage on the other cameras. Do you see that wild crab in his mouth? No, get him out. We gotta send this down to back down. Yeah, yeah. If I can get him to open. That's like a nice eight pounder right there. That's an eight. All right. Circle. Well, you right. had a ballyhoo. Live ballyhoo. That's what these muttons are all about, I guess. Crushed yeah. up crabs from, yeah. the, from the reef. Hold them low, so I can see. Hurry up before they get here. There he is, guys. Right. <laughs> Beautiful fish. I will take it all day. All day, baby. Okay, I can't hold him. <laughs> you guys get it. There, he puked it up. Oh, yeah. There it is. Nice, thanks. Can't use it. We want to see it. He's playing with it. At least someone's playing with something. There he is. Really? Yeah. Oh, good. Did I just pull him off? Probably, because you don't reel too soon. No, here he comes. I gotta find a better way to get these gloves on faster. Let's go, sizzle. Give me gloves, little baby. I do not like that big fish. If you've got them floating ever. My hands are very delicate. I got lawyer's hands. If we're rubbing, rubbing a suntan lotion on hot girl's booties. That's what my hands do. He's got baby hands. Wait. Oh, that's fast. There's the line back in the water. Looks Another like mutton. Looks like a mutton. There's a gap if you need it. I don't need it. He's swimming. Yeah, he's a good size, Woo! but smallest one of the day. I'll take it. We're saying the smallest one of the day. And it's a five pound snapper, baby. Nah. Uh, no. He's a three. He's a 20 incher. Take him. Oh yeah, we're gonna take him. He's all blown up. Literally the smallest fish in the Florida Key so far is a 20 incher. I would be stoked to catch this back home. What an adventure today has been coming down here on our own boat, exploring, finding our own spots, putting yourself on fish. Just amazing. Nice, healthy 22 Largo 22 fish. 22 inch fish. Can't complain about that. No. Uh-uh. All right, I want you to get a ballyhoo down. I am. You got two left, Blay. All right, guys, back at the house. The next day. Yeah. Darcy's the best fisherman in the world. No, you are. <laughs> I still have yet to catch a keeper black, believe it or not, guys. 
She's never, so mad at me. Never, ever. No, I'm not mad at you. I'm happy for you. So, so what a great accomplishment for us just to drive all the way down there. Yeah. And actually catch fish. And guys, like we like, we're blessed to be out there all the time. We're not out there to like get our limits. I mean, it would be nice, but like, that's not our goal. Is to not we didn't need ten muttons. What are we can do. Yeah, what that? we do if we have, and the tide really, we really seem like we had a really. Just so you guys know, like you gotta have moving water out there in the ocean too when you're bottom fishing, and so the current was very light when we got out there. Yeah. I'm surprised we caught the bait, like we said. Yes. And then the current seemed to move for just a little bit when we caught those fish, and then it died, and our bites really just dropped off. Yes. So we came home. But the four bites we got counted, and then we got a couple like crap bites at the end, a little shark, and yeah, um, a couple fish rocked us up, but we Kingfish. got the bites that counted. Yeah, for sure. And then the current picked up really good in the afternoon, I guess, and a friend of we we know caught a bunch of muttons when yes. the current picked up. So yes. And then just looking at this creeper, he's such a pretty fish. I want to catch more of them. Look at all these like pretty dots all over his body. Yeah. I don't know why they call him a black creeper because he's really like he's black, but he's not. Like he has these gold dots. It's so cool and pretty. And these fish get huge. I've seen pictures of like hundred pounders. I mean, I can't imagine. This fish pulled hard, right? Yeah. Yes. I, I mean, it, I was on that so. big rod for a change, so it was like came up pretty easy. Tell yeah. us about your necklace first. Yeah. Though. Oh yeah. Um, so quickly, to, if you want to support my small business, we have nautical sterling silver pendants available on my website. They're all unisex. This is a mangrove snapper pendant, but we got like fish hooks, fish hooks and anchors, all different species of saltwater fish, even freshwater fish like bass. Check it out on the website. Again, they're all unisex, different chain lengths available. We even got fish hook and anchor bracelets, even solid sterling options available too. But don't forget like apparel, what Brian's wearing on camera here, yes. decals, signed eight by tens. Calendars. Last of the calendars, all yeah, that good all stuff. Good. All right, so I've already started cutting up this fish using my eight inch dar sizzle knife today. This is the first black grouper I'm ever gonna fillet. I'm going way up into his head. Really? Yeah, we never caught one. Never caught, never caught a keeper. We've caught gags. I don't pay attention. We catch gags and we caught, I caught a big warsaw last year. Oh yeah. And I've never filleted a black. They all taste about the same and the flight the same. Um, we have caught blacks on another boat out of Stewart a couple years ago, but I didn't fillet that fish, if you recall. I don't remember. The captain did. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, oh my God, look at this freaking meat. I'm just going to take my time with it. Oh, this is going to be such a delicacy. This is what like all us fishermen, especially those of us that like to bottom fish, like this fish is the prized fish you want to catch if yeah. you can. All the grouper are. People could even consider like the red grouper not even that good, but like black grouper, this guy is like top of the line delicious. Oh my goodness, he is still frozen. I've had this guy out of the cooler now for a while to try and make him not frozen, but like his middle meat is frozen. So I did a great job just icing these fish down. I like to get them nice and cold. I believe it helps me fillet them easier. Yeah, plus, you know, we have to film all this, so it's like doing it after we get home from that big trip is just like hard. Yes. I mean, honestly, we got back, it was almost dark, and then by yeah. the time we unloaded Traffic the boat, it was, yeah, it was like so late, and we were just whooped. Oh my gosh, this meat looks amazing. I am so excited. And what are you going to do with all those fish darts that you caught? People I know. Want to ask. I didn't even get a limit. Everybody wants to know what I do with all this fish. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are going to eat as much of this black grouper as we possibly can because, yeah. again, we don't ever get to catch them as our first keeper ever on our own boat. So he's going to be ours more than likely. Yeah. <laughs> and then I might freeze some for like future family visiting us and we'll have like a special dinner with somebody. And then the rest of the fish, you know, I give away. I give away to neighbors. I also freeze fish. Um, so our friends are very, very lucky to get fresh fish from us all the time. Like Silent but, Frank? Yes, like Silent Frank. That's true. <laughs> I might not Can you finish this fish up? I'm just taking forever. my time. I don't want to rip his meat. So she said. Um, gorgeous. Nice. Right there in the middle, like by his spine. Still very frozen. Beautiful specimen that Brian caught. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. What? The rod was in the rod hole, though. It could have been anyone. You caught it. I know, I'm the best. You have to get the you have to get right on that rod and get that fish. And I saw that rod bending over and he dove on it. So that's what you gotta do. <laughs> you gotta keep your eyes on it. You were on the outside of the boat. Oh my gosh, I'm not complaining. Jeez. I caught my personal best mutton. I really can't complain about that because I love mutton and I love the way they fight. And they're just one of my favorite fish. Alright, so now we're slabbing them down. 
Nice, nice. He likes like two and a half, three pounds of meat right here. Look at that. Nice. Oh, so pretty. No bloodline at all. There's nothing to do on this fish at all. Look at that. Nice job, sister. That is what I'm talking about. We are going to be eating like kings tonight. Totally blessed. And I just want to thank all my sponsors for supporting us and allowing us to go on awesome adventures like this. It is just amazing. And we're so blessed. But I'm taking out a little bit of pin bones here. And that's about it. Gonna make right. sure I get his cheek meat. You guys make sure you follow me on social media if you want to see the trick on how to get cheek meat out. Yes, we're going to post the cheek videos on Facebook. Correct. So check those out. Follow her on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all that stuff. But uh, all right, well, I'm going to meet you in the house yeah. for the cooking with pudding section of this video. And here we are, guys. I got the fish all ready to be cooked up for you. We're going to add a little oil to this preheated pan. All right, let me tell you what I got going on today. Caught these fish in the Keys. So we got a little bit of a Florida Keys inspired uh, recipe or meal planning going on here. And this is kind of, I stole this recipe kind of from Lazy Days down in, I think it's in Isla Mirada. Uh, kind of have some friends and we kind of duplicated the recipe as best we could. Uh, so I got some things already started. There's a sauce, of course, involved. Take a look over here at our sizzle. Now this sauce, uh, I got a little bit of B-roll too. I got some olive oil in there and then I put some onions, softened up the onions. Then I added some garlic. And then you can bring it back up, Darcy. And then I, uh, when those got softened up nice, I added some, some wine. This is the best quality wine you can get right out of a box. And then right now I'm reducing that. That's almost reduced about 50%, so we're almost ready to go. Uh, over here, I got the fish. I got the grouper. If you take a look over here real quick, Darcy, I got, I cut a big slab in half so, the, so they'd be equal sizes. This is my thickest piece. And then I got some smaller pieces. So, uh, we're gonna put this, I guess I'll put this fat one in the middle. And I'm cooking it in oil today. I'm cooking it in oil because you know you can you can bread these fish and it, it makes a nice crunchy in contrast with the sauce I'm gonna be making, which is really, really great. But I don't wanna bread it just because the sauce is already enough. So I'm just gonna use a higher heat and get some crunchy edges, which is gonna give me a little texture as well. So we're gonna cook this up. All right, we're back. Get in here, Darcy. I'm gonna go over this again. We don't like the overcooked fish. Now you can see it's starting to get white on the edges. Some pieces are fatter than others. So we gotta make sure we're flipping those right away. You see you got that crunchy right there. This one too. All right. This one's gonna be last. While you were away, I added over here, I added butter and cream. Whisk to get together. Come on up, Darcy. Look at, look at Party B here. And that's how you're gonna reg regulate how much sauce you make. It's gonna be about equal parts butter and cream. I know it looks like a lot of butter, but uh, we'll say the same for tomorrow too. All right. <laughs> All right, over here I added some emeralds, but you can also do some salt and pepper. I'm just gonna do that to taste. I don't wanna get too salty. Over here, some of this is starting to get done. Take a look, Sizzle. We're gonna test this with a fork, just like we do a cake. You can see this one flaking up. That's done. That's done. We're not gonna overcook this fish. We're gonna undercook it. We're on a roll here. I did flip these over. You can see this one looks beautiful. All right. All right, guys, we're ready to the plate. I seasoned that sauce with some salt and pepper and even some sugar. Darcy loves asparagus. Look at this. She's gonna get the nice, look at this. And sauce. Be sure to get it from the bottom so you get all that, that garlic and onion in there. All right. All right, our sizzle. Let's do it. We're we talking to eat. We don't get grouper we enough. No grouper is delicious. Literally the first one we ever caught on our boat. That's kind of lame, I think. First black grouper? Yeah. Yeah. Ever. We caught one years and years and years ago on a wreck. The beautiful, like 20, I don't even know, 30 pound fish. We had a release out of season. Mm hmm. So good. Never had grouper, you gotta have it. No, I need to get one. Like I've been saying. <laughs> What? The I'm team effort. Mad. Team effort. Yeah, exactly. I'm not mad. I'm eating it. You got nothing to say? I was waiting, waiting for you to test it. I've been talking the entire time. You didn't say you liked it or not. It's grouper. It's delicious. <laughs> I don't want to literally stuff my face and not talk anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know. I, it's grouper. End the story. Yeah, you know, a lot of the a lot of like snappers can be a little bit on the soft side, like yellowtail, and then mangrove gets a little firmer, but and then mutton's delicious, and then grouper. This is like a medium white flavor that is just so good. Incredible. Yeah, nothing compares to this. And the sauce is good? Mm-hmm. 
All right, guys, another successful day. Are we going to start off? I'm ready. All right. So, guys, <laughs> thanks for joining us on today's adventure. Thanks for supporting us and watching this and allowing us to do things like this. So, following our dream as usual. And until our next epic adventure, follow your dream. Anky Bong Gadget.